Hello Skylockers, Ken Skylock here. How are you guys doing? This is episode 2 of The Skylock Rises. Please follow these episodes. They lead up to the single release of Rising, which is happening on the 4th of January 2017. And this evening, what we're kind of going to be doing is just I'm having a couple of friends over, more my team, um, and we're going to be decorating a Christmas tree. They are, you know, the actual machine behind the space and they make everything come together you know so i'd like you to meet each and every one of them and you're gonna be blown away by their personalities they all are individual crazy people yeah i hope you guys like them as much as i do so you know camera's rolling i hope the guys are ready so who's up first Backing vocal, personal chef, um, masseuse, and the list is endless. I'm Brian Brindley Daniels, and I form part of Can Skylock's management. I write songs for Can Skylock. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi. I'm a professional makeup artist, and I love what I do. I've done Can's face. Oh gosh so many times it's actually unaccountable but every time I do a face it's like a new experience I was a backup vocalist for her when, when I started out in the team and I'm on her first album called Pure hey guys what's up uh, I do compose for Ken uh, I do act as a tour manager as well um, I'm a keyboard player I'm, I'm also Ken's producer when we do produce songs out here in South Africa I'm Stephanie and I'm Ken's choreographer so besides being Ken's choreographer I also dance as well she also drives me around quite often which I love because like <laughs> you know I become lazy to drive especially when we're out in LA Stephanie just like yeah, took the basically. wheel and we went <laughs> mad she drives <laughs> <so> <laughs> My name is Manny Bradshaw, which is my pseudonym. I, oh my gosh, I'm everything to Ken. I mean, she really abuses me and the power that I have. I'm a songwriter for Ken. I'm her PA, I'm her fluffer, I'm her Whoa. hand choreographer. I uh, teach her how to be a little bit sexy because there are a bit risque songs on here. So she- Manny's my Britney. Oh baby. <laughs> okay, so I'm Dylan April. I play keyboards. Uh, I produce and I direct music. Hello guys, my name is Jamie and I am the hairstylist. Yeah, I bring a bit of comedy to the team as well sometimes. And you're also quite involved with the creative process when we're like yeah. behind the scenes. And Tia, aka Tia, aka Tia Honey. Mm, honey baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I am one of Ken's makeup artists. Uh, I'm Brent, uh, Brent Peters. I pretty much deal with everything creative and everything visual when it comes to the Ken Skylar brand. Hi everybody, my name is Jade, aka Megan X. So my Just birthday the is the 2nd of May, I'm a tourist. I am a songwriter for Candice. Skylar. So retarded on camera, I'm like, I can't deal. I know, it's the worst. I was introduced um, to Ken by my father years ago. So Ken and I met probably when I was about two years old. Um, and then we met up years later and obviously because our parents knew each other, we always kept in touch. Yeah. I think the first time we saw each other when we were much older was when I was working in the hair salon. Yes, I remember that. And I was like, that chick's hair is amazing. I need it to be my stylist. Yeah. And then you turned it around and it's like, Jamie, I'm like, <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, in a mall. Yes. And I was doing makeovers and I didn't know I didn't know you were Ken's Skylock. You were just like this normal chick, you know? Yeah. And I was just like, do you, to, do you want to do your makeup? And you were like, yeah, cool, sure. I was like, okay, cool, chill. And then I found out who you were and I was like, oh my god, this is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then I didn't think anything of it. And then I can't believe you actually called me up and you were like, yo, like I need a makeup artist to be shooting. But I told Can you, you I would. And I was like, yes, I'm there. And yeah, it's just like 
It's been amazing since then. We met in high school, actually. Can's illiterate. Not many people know this. Like, she couldn't <laughs> read English. <laughs> she couldn't even, like, speak it properly. Dyslexic, too. She was dyslexic. She was totally yeah, dyslexic. Totally, totally. So, my boyfriend at the time, um, he was actually a tutor of hers. And then he said to me, um, hey, do you know this girl, Can? She seems to know you. And I'm like, what, Kate? Dante? You mean... Candace and I was like, when did she become can? <laughs> I was like, okay, she can now. Oh, yes, yeah, she can. Yes, we can. Um, so you know, the good the moral of the story is that she learned how to read and write, which is fantastic. So she texted <laughs> me and said, Hey man, I hear that you're a songwriter, so let's get together and collaborate. Do you have your lemon pepper? <laughs> She's a she farts. <laughs> It doesn't smell though. <laughs> lies. <laughs> Absolute lies. Jen's a ball of fun. Basically, you're a nightmare. This yes, one does not sit still. She's always eating, always <laughs> eating, or drinking tea, or talking, or on a cell phone, or the list goes on. She makes my life hard. Other than that, she is amazing. Well, first of all, and uh, th this is one of the things about Ken, I don't like to sit next to her on a plane. How dare you? She drools. Ah! Uh, she grinds her teeth. Ah! Uh, she talks in her sleep. Ah! Uh, you can't disturb her when she's sleeping. Um, I'm moody in the morning. There we go, she's not a morning person. I don't think she'll ever lose the facade. And I have nothing guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, no. I can't wait for the single. I'm so excited. This album is something completely different. I love the sound. I really love where the new sound is going, I must say. It's, it was awesome writing with um, Manny and Jade and obviously yourself. Anyway, we're the melody making and I think that's the beloved term that we're using for ourselves and it was real fun. Um, I loved collaborating with people because usually I'd just be like Taylor Swift whip my guitar and be like, he broke my heart. Oh. <laughs> um, but he did. So I'm really excited on the work, especially for Rising, which I'm sure everyone's already told you is this like power pop anthem, which just is awesome. Oh, Rising is just a power anthem. That that is basically what it is. It's a power song. It's you know it, it, it reminds me of a kind of a, of a Destiny's Child, um, I'm a survivor type of. It's got a powerful message in this song. Is going to take you places. Going to take you higher. It's definitely what the song says. It's Rising. She's a vocalist today, God alone knows why, because when they used to sing in, in, in preschool, she used to mime. Two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear dream. How do you know it? Found the young virgin mother and child. Oh. Hey, come on, Vogue. Let your body move to the music. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> A new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees. Oh, hear the angels' voice. I can think of a number of things you can get me. Well, I, I, I'd appreciate a list. That's a tough one. Well, since you are my sister, I don't have a choice. Mm -mm. No, there's no gift for you. <laughs> Sorry. The best gift is the gift of surprise. Oh, oh God, oh, she's hinting at a gift. Oh. I am, I am. Um, probably Vaseline. Wow! Mm, she's gonna need it. <laughs> Chap lips. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty ass. That's about the only thing that I can eat. Maddie is fully aware of all of my allergies. I'm giving her dust so that uh. she can stay thin for the promotional tour. Are you gonna get your mommy a, a Christmas gift paper? Clearly. 
clearly she is. She's amazing. Look up against Skylock's new single, Rising. Rising drops on the 4th of January, 19... Uh, <laughs> 19... <laughs> <laughs> it was like his birthday. <laughs> Rising drops on the 4th of January 2017 and we are all rising about it. For more information about Ken Skylock, go to www.kenskylock.com Yeah! Oh, bring out, baby! <laughs> Merry Christmas from the Ken Skylock team!